in a minute. Okay, so, so see where, where you just walked. You are, you're kind of walking around in a little circle. Alright, what I, what I would rather see again is you walking directly up into her. And then as she moves, you change that line and you keep driving a little more straight into her instead of walking around like that now here in just a minute you kind of do there you take that forward step right here you're going to step more into her finally boom okay so see that that's really what i see i don't think that's affecting her so much it's more the body language that you're giving her is is right here you're doing the walk around it's just not very assertive not very aggressive and then when you when you do take that step see there we get the head up a little bit more uh, and she finally head goes down and she walks off so look at that again so right here we're in the not assertive walking around see her head up ears not nice now we take the step into her right here boom head immediately goes down okay so when you get a little more assertive, then you take the leadership position. They tend to relax. All right, we'll play it in real time now. Okay, now, right there, you got a little more assertive. You do the whip, boom. Okay, and right after that, we get head toss, head toss, tail swish. This is teenage attitude. So I like the way that you did the whip. What I would have rather seen is right here you whip the ground, and that is asking her to go. Right here, we get attitude, attitude, attitude. Now, this is where I want you to turn into Marine Drill Sergeant and just whip, 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 drive, 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 drive. Make her uh, dearly regret that 50 push-ups, hit the deck, boom, 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 boom. So I want the, the flip to switch on you, and you punish that behavior make her kind of regret it so let's let's see how this goes you're going to find right now you're taking a step forward that's going to change all right so here we're going forward now we're backing up all right so you she she turned into you just a little bit and you you kind of backed out of there uh, and part of her turning into you is is because you are not committed forward military tactics right if if we if we don't look strong we are way more likely to be attacked in reverse whereas if if we come in strong and we say hey get out of there then they're a whole lot more likely to exit stage left so that's what i'm looking for here i, I want to see consistent forward pressure on this horse also because um because you were let me get my direction straight here. Okay, so we are, we're starting off, we're going forward. Again, my computer's like, okay, so we're going forward. Now we're backing up, mixed signal. And immediately leads to confusion and frustration, which is what we're seeing right here. This is more of like a little mini tantrum. Uh, she's, she, she kind of appears to be threatening you, and I get that, and to some degree she is. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But this isn't, she's not really committed here. This is not you're about to be attacked. This is, she's confused and she's frustrated, and come on, lady, what, what do you really want here? That's more what she's saying. And you can see right there, so, so we get anger, now frustration, pawing, head up see ears aren't angry anymore right but we're we are pawing our tail is up this is frustration and now this is looking at you like what what do you want i don't understand what you want so see you have her full attention and that's why when you back off a little bit she is wanting to come to you uh it's because she's just confused she is not sure which way to go and so she's trying to come to you which is actually a sign of you know, that's what I would want to see a horse do when they get confused or frustrated is turn to me. So uh, here you're going a little more forward, but, but you're doing it with the wrong leg. So you got your right leg coming at her. And I would, I would again rather see, uh, see you turning your shoulders 
a little more this way rather than this way and coming in directly but then you're, you're always leading with this uh, what would be your left foot in this instance and you're kind of this is where we talked about the jousting or fencing where you're kind of stabbing at them I think we did that on the round pin day when we had worked with you so that's what I'd want to see is is your left leg the one that's blocking behind is stepping forward then your right leg comes in and then your left leg steps forward left leg steps forward and the flag goes with until she responds so far more assertive and very very obvious what you mean and also that helps to open the door as big as we possibly can gives her a great big hole over here for her to to uh, move forward into okay and you change hands right there that's probably because you're right-handed and she started getting a little scary uh, okay so right here she starts getting a little scary which again is this is bluff she's she is not really fixing to attack you there's nothing about her that I see in this clip at least I haven't gotten through all of them that tells me that she's serious here so I would actually attack if, if she did that to me I would be running at her still kind of on this backside where she's got the escape route but but if she got more aggressive with me I would get more aggressive with her and that clears up leadership and tells her where to go what you do here you get a little insecure now we're backing away <clears throat> now we're changing hands and now she has no direction so you're pushing straight into her into the fence instead of coming around behind her and giving her an exit okay so it's un it's understandable i mean you you are in a position where it looks like she's being pretty threatening but but you know you're you're kind of inviting it to some degree because of your body language so again i would probably advise you just to get rid of the flag for now and use an actual whip where you can reach out and touch her and I do want you to touch her. I want you to kind of hit the ground like you were doing in the other videos softly once. And then the rule is if she doesn't, re <coughs> excuse me. she doesn't respond to that, the next time when I reach out to touch her, if I can touch her, I'm going to touch her. And I want to hit her somewhere right up here on her butt. And I'm not going to really hit her hard that time. If that doesn't get a response, the next time I'm going to sting her. Uh, and you shouldn't have to do that but a time or two. And she's gonna start going places instead of sitting there and resisting so all of this silliness this um, posturing and all is you know if I were in the round pin with her that would melt away in 20 seconds so you're, you're not deep in the hole here you're not having as big an issue as you think you're having okay so once again flags in the wrong hand she's got nowhere to go now this okay now this looks like she's going to threaten to kick you that's not what really happens right here once again she had nowhere to go you were pushing her straight into the fence back here and so you're pushing on this eye and she's turning toward the fence and she is going to lose you right here um so we're going to go forward now her ears get pinned and right here she loses sight of you you're now directly behind her and yes her ears are in a sour spot. So let's talk about that for a second. You are having a pecking order dispute with this horse. Again, it's not an extreme one. She, she is not really fixing the attack yet. I'm gonna show you when we advance this just a little bit more where I see that. But one thing a lot of people don't realize is that anytime two horses have a pecking order dispute, we always focus on the aggressive horse and we see that horse with pinned ears we do not tend to notice that the horse that is being attacked also pins its ears. Um, so, this mare is in a confused space. You are having a pecking order dispute. She is pinning her ears. That is more of a defensive threat than a really aggressive one. So let's, let's watch right here. She is gonna come around, and right here, if she really wanted to be aggressive, she would actually back toward you. That would be the next stage of her body language of threatening. All right. What she does, you've lost this eye. This is the eye you were in. Now she's turned and we're on the other side. And she really just continues the turn to get you in her left eye. Okay. So see right here, we went from kind of pinned ears, head up, threatening looks like, 
to boom, head down, ears forward, coming around looking at you. So see that <clears throat> this is more defensive than it, it appears to be. Again, if she really wanted to be threatening, she would have kicked at you right there or actually backed up toward you. Uh, what she does do is immediately lower her head, get her ears forward, attention back on you, steps back around and, and locks into you. So I have no doubt that this horse is doing that defensively, not aggressively. Uh, there's a groundwork exercise that goes by different names, but I, I don't tend to like it and for this reason. And this is what it looks like. You'll be, we're, we're just going to ignore, ignore y'all. And I'm going to just draw on the side here. So I'm standing right here and I'm going to be walking down an arena or through a round pin in that direction. And I'm going to start off with my horse right here. And I'm going to take my lead and send the horse around this way. And right here, I'm going to stop. And then it's, I'm continuing to walk forward. I'm going to have the horse turn and move forward and come around me this way and then stop. And again, they'll turn into me. They'll come around me again. And I've, I'm the whole time advancing down the the pin and, and changing the horse's direction back and forth in front of you. At each of these points where you're changing direction, I would promise you that a horse that has done this exercise very much is pinning the ears at the person. Um, it's because it's a high pressure exercise and it's very confronting. And if I have a horse that wants to buck or something like that, that needs to be taken down a measure, this is the sort of exercise that I do. But for a horse that doesn't need that, when they come to these, these spots where they have to turn and face up to you, they always pin their ears at you right there. And it is that defensive posture. They're saying, hey, this is a lot of pressure you're putting on me. You're trying to back me off here, and I'm okay with that. But I just need to let you know that if you push on me anymore, I'm not going to take it. And even though you're the alpha and you're going to win, I'm going to sting you back. And so we tend to get those threats in these spots but they're they're again defensive threats not really true assertive aggressive threats and that's what she's doing to you so that also tells me you know we're not far off the side of the road right here this is going to be pretty quickly and easily fixed if you just get your body language a little bit more uh, consistent and are consistently more assertive okay i would rather see the line you know being this way and she's got all this room to turn into and go. And we're kind of just putting our our whip hand and all right alongside her and, and, and then opening the door for her to, to go on around. So you're squared up to her right now, which is a more of an aggressive challenge. So again, I'm, I haven't watched this video yet. I bet we're about to have a pin deer moment from her because you're challenging her. And so she's got to do the defensive Okay, you may hurt me and you may win, but I'm going to sting you too if you come over here. All right, let's see what we get. Yep. Like Nostradamus over here. And unfortunately, we got a lick and chew right there. Um, I would not have liked to have seen that. So that means she actually got a hit of dopamine and kind of reinforced the behavior. So you, you are, if you were wanting to trick train her to rear up, for um, the movies or a commercial or something, this is how you would go about it, just so that, that you know. <laughs> so, um, all right. So again, see your hips, see your shoulders, your, your full court. You're actually kind of pointing toward me now, less toward her, which is actually blocking her even more from being able to turn and go that direction, all right? So you, you need full rotation. You need this foot, your left foot to come around, and your right foot to be stepping around behind it so that your shoulders and hips turn this direction. Again, you should have done that from the center of the round pin rather than your little journey that you're making out here. So, okay, so I, I agree with Miss Dale right there. If if she's gonna make that big of a move and a challenge, then I would discipline that. But I think if your communication starts to get more clear, uh, these challenges are gonna go away. And right here, you've done again. You've you have swapped 
because you're getting insecure. It looks like you're about to be attacked. You, you swapped hands. And, and I got to be honest, like somebody might have actually played with her and doing this. Um, like that's, that's pretty darn nice and sweet. I mean, that, that should be a photo for you. You should tell people you went to a Double Dan Liberty Challenge weekend and this is your graduation picture. I mean, look at that. That is just gorgeous, right? Uh, so let's move. We even have our striking out. But once again, if, if your whole goal here was for her to leave that way, Whipping wrong hand, shoulders are blocking her, hips are blocking her. You get rid of that stuff and you make a very clear open door and put enough pressure to go through it and this stuff's gonna melt away. Just remember that the way that we can tell pecking order in horses, the one that can move the other one's feet and make it back up is the dominant horse. So each time you do that, you add to the confusion and the frustration because in her mind, you just told her very clearly that she is the boss. And once again, she's not really challenging you here. This is more confused, frustrated, don't know what to do, feeling insecure, feeling defensive. You get all of the way you ask to be very clear, and I think this goes away pretty easily. And you should not have changed directions right there. So if you start asking her to go clockwise then you are locked in to going clockwise until it happens. Quit, quit changing and, okay, well, I'll just go this way. And you, hey, you changed whip hands, so you might have actually forgotten and thought that was the way you were supposed to be going. But you need to be conscious of that because the horse definitely is. And once again, we've made a quite the journey. And even if we were, see, you have her blocked. You see, you're perpendicular to her right now. And so this is a full frontal challenge. If I did actually want her uh, to make this turn, I would want your shoulders and hips and whip to be, you know, blocking her right here and then opening the door for her to turn her nose and come this way and then come on around and, and make the circle. 